Welcome to the Rotary News Network, a presentation of Rotary International. Designed to keep Rotarians worldwide in touch with Rotary programs, goals, and new directions. When you bring together some of the world's most talented young musicians, be prepared to hear a special sound of music. Anthony Stallwalter reports on Rotary's Youth International Orchestra. Verona, the city of Romeo and Juliet, and still a city for young romantics. It was just one of the stops on this summer's European tour of the Rotary Youth International Orchestra. In early 1990, young musicians from all over the world auditioned for a place in the premier season of this 90-person orchestra. There's a couple from England, there's a handful from Israel, Hungary, Bulgaria. There's a few from the Orient, um, four from China, one from Japan. The orchestra is conducted by maestro Giuseppe Savassi, a recent Rotary Foundation scholar from Torino, Italy. For many of the musicians, this was their first experience outside their own country. And even those who have traveled before found the Rotary experience a special one. I have been here before, but this is unique because this is the first time that I've been touring with people from other countries. Usually I'm only with Americans and I don't learn language and I don't learn new cultures. And here we have 17, I think, different languages represented, but we've all been able to communicate and um, it's been very exciting to learn about other people and what their life is like. That's probably for me the best thing. Perhaps most interesting to these young musicians was overcoming the language and cultural barriers to create this beautiful music. Audiences are asking the orchestra to return next summer and the musicians are equally eager for the orchestra to continue. The orchestra is currently planning a 1991 tour of the United States. This is Anthony Stallwater for the Rotary.